Okay folks, Polly here, and for my first Ninja Cook YouTube video, I'm going to do French bread pizza. <laughs> Nothing could be more appropriate than that, some sort of pizza, right? Plus it's a little bit easier than putting dough in there, I have not tried that yet, but this is what I did. Here are my French bread pizzas. And you can make them however you want. You can put whatever you want on it. This is what I did. Mozzarella. Some of that great sauce from the Meyer store. And some pepperoni. I might sprinkle on some Parmesan. TBD. Now that those, now that those are made, I'm going to go over here to the Ninja thingy. I already have three cups of water inside there. And I have this rack in there. See the rack? You wouldn't think you would need water to make pizza. but So, got that in there. I'm gonna bring this over here. I'm not putting those French bread pizzas in there yet. I'm gonna turn it on. And, see right there? I'm gonna bring it down to steam and bake. I'm gonna bring this down to, this is the time. I'm gonna bring it down to six minutes. I think that'll be good. 325 is where I want it. Then we're just gonna press start. Now this thing's gonna heat up, and once it gets heated up, it's gonna start running. But once it starts running, I'm gonna open the lid Put, to, put those French bread pizzas in there and let it cook for those six minutes. Folks, I much prefer cooking over fire or at least over charcoal, but this thing is pretty fun. I'm glad I got it. It'll keep my oven clean, which I always keep clean. Yeah, so the, the preheating takes a little while, but it, I'm okay with that. That is a good time to prep, if it's not, nothing major, good time to prep what you're gonna put in there. But I already had it made, so this is just to wait for me. But it should be done preheating here shortly. Again, I got it set for six minutes, and it's set on a steam crisp setting. You got the air fry over here and then you get the, I mean, when you slide this wrong, air fry here, steam crisp there. And then over here, you have the pressure cooker. And each section has their own levels of cooking. I could just want steam crisp and done that, but I did steam bake under the steam crisp setting. Does that make any sense? should be ready to go here in a minute and when it does finish preheating I'm gonna open it up put those French bread pizzas into the ninja thingy and we'll be on our way to seeing the results of this experiment because I've never done this never made this so let's hope it works all right so you see the timers going well we're gonna stop that happiness for a minute. Open this up. Set this in there. Ooh. Some of that cheese is falling into the water. We close it back up. And it goes right back into the countdown. Now I could have put those in there before, you know, before I started the preheat, but it might be safer because you might not burn your fingers. 
course, I didn't burn myself. Could have. Now, I did put three cups of water in there. Underneath that rack. So I don't know if that was detrimental or not. You have to put some water in there though. So, should I have just done one cup? Will this thing be a soggy mess? I don't know. But it's just about done. Let's get ready for the show. Now if this was on pressure cooker, you could not just open it up. You'd have to release steam from this steam release valve. But right now it's done. Don't need to wait, don't need to release steam, so we're just gonna open it up. But you gotta open it up from that setting. Oh my pepperoni has fallen off. Let's get a picture. But that pizza looks pretty good. It doesn't look bad, but all the pepperonis blew off. Hmm. What must I do to prevent that? I don't know. Some are in the drink. Look at that. Pretty cool. Only one pepperoni in the drink. Now this was three cups of water. It's almost gone. Amazing, some of that cheese dripped down too. That's okay. Here we go, here we are. Looks pretty good. Except for the blown off pepperoni. Now I know these are pretty hot. Let's go with a small one. I'll go with a big one here. I'm not going to eat that right now. Let's give it a few minutes. But you, you did notice it is sticking to the rack. I don't know if that's just the cheese matter. Yeah, it's just the cheese, I think. Now you can see it's got some brownness. Top is done up. The bread is soft, but it's got a crispiness on the outside. And it's still pretty hot. Let me give it a let me give it a shot. I like it. Success. I approve. So I'll get the kinks out of making that. We'll be on our way to making some good stuff. I really did not have a recipe to follow, so I kind of winged it. I got this card in the mail from a great YouTuber. He calls himself Bones on YouTube. He sent me his decal. Cajun Arnu Barbecue, AKA Bones. I want to wait till the weather is a little bit nicer before I apply this to to where I'm going to apply it. And by saying weather, that means it's going to be outside. So stay tuned. That'll happen here in the near future. Thank you, Bones. Yeah, this Ninja is pretty cool. It will save my oven from getting dirty. I do want to use the oven for major baking events and also in the summer this won't heat up the house quite like this like this will so it's a win-win situation 
It'll increase the longevity of my oven. And I'll have fun toying around with the ninja thingy. Until next time, I'm out of here. Or you're out of here. <laughs>